Football is providing some much needed respite for Afghan refugees in Qatar. Hundreds have found a temporary home and accommodation built for next year's World Cup. <laughs> Last month, FIFA president Gianni Infantino was a guest player at a coaching session that had been organised by Qatar 2022's Generation Amazing Legacy Project. 23-year-old Saeed worked in Afghanistan for an American TV network. He arrived in Doha in August, but had to leave his parents and younger brother behind. Football has always had its effect on me. I don't. I know it. It has effects on everybody that who loves playing football, who's just playing football. When the boys were here before that, they were depressed. They were thinking about what will happen to the, to them. What are they going to do? And then we played football for a couple of hours. Actually, for myself, for me, I thought uh, everything is fine. I'm back home. I'm playing football. Since it began over a decade ago, Qatar 2022's Generation Amazing Project has reached more than half a million people in countries all over the world. And it's not just football facilities being provided. Here, setting up a routine for the children involving informal schooling was just as important. Did you know that these trees grow in salt water and can be as tall as six? A lot of these children and families, are their final destination is an English-speaking country, which is totally understandable. So we started by offering English classes and different um, art and um, music activities. The fact that they're in such a chaotic time in their lives, we'd like to offer them some sort of routine. It took a few days to establish the space, but now that they know that we're here every day and we care about them and we're meeting their needs, we're listening to them. Step one, I feel, with all of the kids is come in, sit with me, let's draw something. That's why you have find so much artwork, because that's sort of like the most primal form of self-expression, right? Almost everyone who sits down to draw for me, their first drawing is a drawing of a house or a home or some sort of structure. So I think that speaks to the idea that they're looking for home, that they're uh, in a transitional state. This may not be a permanent home, but for now, Qatar is providing these children with a safe place to play and learn. Andy Richardson, Al Jazeera, Doha.